Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to put an end to my 18 products in 2018 Project Pan. So this is the finale. So if you are curious about my progress along the way, I can link those videos down below. Um, I also did a couple get ready with me's with these products, so I can link those down below as well. But otherwise, this is the end of my 2018 project. My next video going up on Monday is going to be the start of a new project for 2019. No, I am not doing 19 products in 2019. That is just way too many. I also, I think that I came up with 12 maybe. I'll have to look at my list. Anyway, this video is not about that, but nevertheless, I'm not adding more because the other thing is that I wanted to talk about some of the things that I learned doing this project. This is my first project pan ever. I really didn't get into any panning at all until this year and this was an ambitious project, um, especially for it being my first time, but even in general, 18 products is a lot. Even though a lot of them were different types, it still was a very, very big project and I'm really happy that it's over. And we'll talk about it a little bit more as we go through some of these products, but I think going into 2019, I'm able to go into it with a little more of an educated mind as far as what products are good for panning, you know, wh what kind of items I can actually use up in a year. You know, it's, it's hard to know really what you would use up. And it's also tough because some of these were not products that I could use a lot of, and some of them were ones that, you know, were only good for one part of the year, um, things like that. And so it made it really hard to complete some of them. Not to mention that some of them I got very, very sick of, and so it was hard to really... I felt like I was forcing myself to use them. But all in all, I think I did a really good job. I mean, there are definitely plenty of these that I did not complete. We'll go through them. But I still feel really proud of it. I really challenged myself. And, you know, going into the next year, I'm not going to overdo it. I, I want to really be able to reach those goals if I can. That that's my goal is to to complete all of the products in my next project or you know either pan or finish whatever the goal is I don't want to feel like I'm getting tired of my products because I have a lot of things in my collection and I love makeup and I love trying new things and so I want to continue to do that as well as do my throwback Thursday videos where I shop my stash but then still have a project like this and then maybe feel like I can do you know a couple other mini projects throughout the year I mean I'll see how I feel but I just didn't feel like I was able to do that with 18 products to complete. It was just too much. So let's go through them. First, we're gonna go through the ones that I completed by the time of my last update. So we'll go through those pretty quickly. Then we'll go through the ones that I completed as of that last update, which are not very many. Uh, then we're gonna talk about ones that I feel like are pretty close and I feel satisfied with what I did. And then we'll talk about the ones that I didn't complete. So. Um, all right, so the ones that I did complete, so I finished at, uh, pretty early on in the year my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I really enjoyed that foundation. Honestly, the only reason I didn't repurchase it is because, first of all, I do have other foundations that I like, but I don't like that it doesn't have a pump. I know that may be silly, but that is truthfully one of the big reasons why I didn't repurchase it, but I do really love that foundation and I would definitely recommend it, but I finished that one pretty early on. I also finished, I think it was as of my last update, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium. I put that with my Back to MAC products and I feel really good about finishing that one. I had also hit pan on my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I definitely kept enlarging that pan. I calmed down on using this a lot just because I had already reached my goal, which was just to hit pan on this, but I would love to finish this one up. It's not one that I'm thinking about adding in my 2019 just because I want to pick new products honestly even though some of these I feel like I could definitely finish up if I added them in I want to just switch it up and use different things but I do love this bronzer I would definitely repurchase it if I finish this one but I do have it in a palette so I would want to finish that one up first but I feel like this one I could see myself using up in the next year or so because it is you know once you hit pan it gets much easier to use up a product so I feel pretty good about this one and I had finished that one up earlier. Then there's my Makeup Forever Cream Blush. This is in the shade 215. I had hit pan on this maybe like my last update, I don't remember, but I expanded it a little bit. I feel really good about that. I would love to finish this up before it expires. 
I do think this is a really beautiful cream blush if you like cream products. I'm just not huge on them as I've mentioned before, but I feel really proud of myself that I hit pan on that one because that, that's a challenge I feel like. So I feel very, very proud of that. I hit my goal on this palette right here. This is the Urban Decay uh, Streak palette, one of their like flush palettes. Yeah, it's in the shade Streak. It's a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And I hit pan on both the bronzer and the highlighter. And I haven't opened it up yet because it's kind of a mess. You can see, and it's interesting because as I hit pan on these, you know, they kind of like pull away from the sides and you don't think about something like that when you get a product like this, but the design is not great. It'd be better if they were actually separated, um, you know, like something like, like this, for example, the Flower Beauty highlighter. You can see there's like dividers in there. I feel like the fact that these just are all one right next to each other, they break up so easily. So honestly, I haven't touched this in a while just because it's so hard to use because if I go into some of these powders, not so much the blush, but if I go to the, into the highlighter or the bronzer, it starts to like fall apart on me and it gets really messy. So, you know, Again, it's not something that you think about until you actually are using it, how, you know, that kind of design is not really the greatest thing. Then I finished up my Benefit What's Up highlighter. It was a little mini highlighter. I got a lot of use of that, especially in the summertime, spring and summer, mostly summer, because I put it all over my shoulders. And it's a beautiful highlighter. Again, if you like cream products, highly recommend that one. It's beautiful. I also hit pan on my Becca Opal highlighter. So proud of myself for that one. It's hard to hit pan on a highlighter, especially one that is so pigmented like the Becca highlighters. Just beautiful. I definitely get more use out of this in the summer because again, I can use it on my shoulders, but also this is a little bit of a darker one. So as I lose my summer tan, it's going to be just a little bit too dark for me. I can still get away with it, especially if I put something else on top, but it's a beautiful highlighter. If you, you know, if you like this kind of highlighter and you have sort of a light to medium, probably more medium skin tone. This is such a gorgeous one and I'm really proud of myself and I even expanded it just a little bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing another highlighter in my new project. Then I had completed my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. This is, you know, the old one. They came out with like a new packaging, new formula, whatever of this. I had hit pan on three shadows in here by my last update. You can see that there, This, these three. And I had said, you know, I was perfectly pleased with that, but I was hoping that maybe I'd hit Pana one more. I got very close on this shade right here, this shimmery pink that I use a lot as like an inner corner highlight. I, I think I'm pretty close on that one, but I just didn't quite get there. I got maybe fairly close on Cashmere Bunny, this like darker nude shade there, but um, these are very, very hard to pan. In fact, I thought about doing another Too Faced palette in my project for next year and I'm not doing that because I remember how hard it was with this one and I just was getting so sick of it and just sick of not being able to hit pan on it. It took me a very long time. I still did it and so I'm very proud of that because I don't have pan in a lot of my eyeshadow palettes but um, I'm excited to do something different next year that will maybe not be quite as hard. Too Faced shadows are just very firmly pressed. They're really nice, but they just are densely packed. And so they're har much harder to pan. I think I didn't know that going in at all, but I've heard that from a lot of other people as well. So that's why it took me so long to do it. And then the last thing that I had finished up for my last update was my Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Patina. I have tossed that one already. I didn't like completely, completely finish it, but I was calling it done just because I had used basically, I felt like as much as I could and it had started to dry out because of how little was left in there. And so I feel good about that. I feel like, you know, I did a pretty decent job with it. Okay, so now let's go into the ones that I completed as of that last update. There's one kind of two, <laughs> not very many, um, but I finally hit pan on this ColourPop eyeshadow and I literally hit pan on it like uh, the, a day or two before the end of the year, which is why I'm doing this update after the new year because I did feel like I was so close on some of these that I wanted to just give it that last push and like try and do it. And with this one, I was like trying so, so hard. And I mean, I definitely dug my finger in there, but I mean, these, I give these a lot of credit. There's not a lot of product in these ColourPop shadows, but they're hard to pan. They're really, really hard to pan. So this took me a long time. And part of it was just, I was getting sick of the shade. You know, I just didn't always want to wear it. And I felt like I needed to push myself to wear it because I wasn't going to finish it otherwise. And so I just got sick of it. So I had thought about putting in another one for next year, but no way that was so hard. 
oh, I, I'm so glad to be done with this and I don't know when I'm gonna use this again because I was so sick of it. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. It's the shade Sequin, by the way. But oh, thank God I finished that one up. Oh my God. And then the other one that I'm, it's, it's done. I mean, it's basically done. There may be like a little bit left, but I'm calling it done is this Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I did okay with this. I was just getting so tired of it. It's a decent smoothing primer. It's like, you know, one of those silicone -y kind of smoothing primers, pore filling. And I feel like it does a pretty good job. It just can be a little bit drying. So I have to be a little bit careful, you know, what I wear on top of it, how I apply it on top. Like I cannot use a brush to apply my foundation on top of this. It just doesn't look good. I have to use a beauty sponge. So I just felt like this was okay. And I was so ready to be done with it. I'm calling it completed because I, there's just, you know, it's hard to get anything out of here. If so, there's Probably like a tiny bit, but whatever. I'm calling it done, okay? <laughs> I'm calling that one done. So let's talk about the ones that I feel like I'm satisfied with what I did. They may not be totally done, but I'm satisfied with what I did. So the first one is this NARS lip gloss in Turkish Delight. There's definitely still product in here, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. There's not a lot left. And considering that I don't love this lip gloss formula, like if I look at it, I can see like a little bit down there and like, you know, but you can see through it, you know. But anyway, considering that I don't love the shade or the formula of these that much, I think I did pretty well with this. And so I'm very happy about it. But now it's being decluttered and I'm very excited about it. Then there's the lip pencil from MAC in Dervish Maybe there's like one or two more sharpens left on this. You know, you can't like obviously like completely complete a lip pencil because you have to be able to sharpen it. And this one I have to sharpen every single time, which of course helped me use it quicker, but it just is so dry and, and it's better when it's like freshly sharpened, you know? So I felt like I had to sharpen this every single time and there's like, you know, this much left in here, but I, I think it's basically done. And so I'm, I'm saying that I'm pretty satisfied with that one. So I can declutter that. <laughs> and then there's my Mac Painterly paint pot. Boy, was this hard to do. I mean, first of all, I've mentioned this before, but I don't love this primer. I, I really do like it, but it doesn't last as well for me as some of my other primers. I do find that if I wear this all day long, then my eyeshadow will crease. If I wear it like half of the day, then it's fine. Like if I'm just doing my makeup to go out to dinner or whatever it is, then this is just fine. But if I need it to last me all day long, then my eyeshadow will crease. And I do have oily eyelids, so keep that in mind. But that is just the only issue that I have with this. As I, you know, I did finally hit pan on it because I had said a few updates ago that at this point I was just hoping to hit pan on it because it just, there's so much product in here and you really don't want to use too much. But, um, so I did do that and it started to just keep drying out more and more and more. And so I'm pretty satisfied with that. I used it a lot and I certainly used way more of it than I would have if I didn't put it in this project. So now I'm going to add it with my MAC products that I will back to MAC. So I'm very excited about that. So now let's talk about the products that I didn't complete and I don't think that I did that great with them either. <laughs> so the first one is probably the one that I did the worst on and that's the Trish McAvoy 24 hour eyeshadow and liner in the shade Smoky Emerald. This is, you know, a liquid, this is, you know, one of those like pencil uh, eyeshadows. It's beautiful. I really do love this. I actually put it in my waterline today. But the problem with this is that because it's this shimmery green color, it's just not like an everyday shade for me. It's pretty smoky, smoky emerald. So I would use it a decent amount like in my waterline. It's just sort of a pop, um, but it doesn't use that much of it. I've mentioned this before, but I have one of the Laura Mercier caviar sticks, which is the same idea in um, like an amethyst shade. And I love that one. I have used that one tons and I still have tons of product in that one. So it would have been basically impossible for me to finish up one like this. I can show you um, on my paper here. It's kind of a mess, but I mean, I basically didn't do any progress at all. You know, by the way, this is the Mac Dervish. So you can see there was quite a bit of progress there. I still feel proud of myself because I certainly used it more during this year with this project than I would have otherwise probably because I wouldn't have like pulled for it as much as I did during this project. But this one, you know, I don't think that I knew going in how hard it would be to pan something like this. So, 
yeah, that's a hard one. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to pan a cream pencil eyeshadow like this, but it's hard. Like, unless you use it regularly as like an eyeshadow base, you know, to do a look or whatever, like, you know, if you had a shade that was more of an everyday shade, then I think it would be easier. But then the one that I'm probably the most disappointed in myself in, I mean, I did, I did okay. I mean, I basically like didn't make much progress at all since my last update. You can see that there. Um, this is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Rakuja. And this is one of my favorites. And I just kept forgetting to use this. I don't know why. I'm getting definitely close there. You know, it's getting close, but I, I just can't believe that I couldn't do this. And honestly, it's mostly just that I kept forgetting to use it. But I'm so disappointed in myself because I could have done better. I know that I could have. And I mean, because this is one of my favorites. I really do love this. I don't know what my problem was, but it's all right. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. It's okay. But I think I would like to use this up pretty soon if I can, because I have another one of these, like maybe just like a mini, but I have another one and I do love it. I just like, I need to go through some things in my collection, you know? Then I have another lipstick. I did pretty badly on this one as well. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Lipstick in Native. This is their old formula, old packaging, whatever, which is partly why I added this in. And the problem is that this is like a light pinky shade that I just don't use very much. And so, I, I mean, I could show you the paper, but I basically made no progress on this one. I used it a little bit more because I put it in my backpack that I take with me like going around with my daughter. So, you know, if I wasn't really wearing much makeup and I just wanted to put a little something on my lips, I could put this on, but it's just not an everyday shade for me. Like for some people, like a light pinky nude would be an everyday shade, but for me, it's really not. Um, it's a little too like light and pinky for me as like an everyday shade. And so I did okay. I mean, you know, I certainly used it again more than I would have if it wasn't in this project, but I just didn't really make too much progress on that one. It's still good, but I should use this up at some point, otherwise it's gonna go bad. And then the last one is this concealer, and I'll tell you why I had so much trouble with this one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. So that's it right there. I used to buy concealers in a brightening shade and do the whole like bright under eye thing, and I just don't do that anymore. I like to use a concealer that's basically my skin tone, maybe use a little bit of a brightening powder, but just, keep it pretty natural. And so the only way that I was really using this, like I would, earlier on in the year, I would put a little bit like underneath, just to highlight just a touch, but I really didn't love that. As I got a little bit of a tan, then it was even lighter. <laughs> and I just, I mean, it's hard to see where I am exactly. I love the formula of this. I really do like it, but I was finding that I just, it was too light to wear it underneath my eyes. So I just kind of stopped doing it that way. And so the only way that I really use this and I liked it for that was for like cut creases and things like that, which of course I don't do all the time. So I'm not gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep using this in that way because I think it works well for that. I, I can't add in a product that I can't use all the time. You know, the one that's like really like specific use, it's gonna be so much harder to finish it up. So, you know, I, I, I understand why I put this in this project because I, I wanna get rid of this because it is too light for me but it also made it so hard to finish it because it's too light for me. <laughs> All right, everyone, so that is it for this finale of my 2018 Project Pan, 18 products in 2018. And if you have any guesses as to like what I might add into my 2019 project, let me know, that's the next video that is going to go up. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that I'm thinking about sort of putting off my Throwback Thursday video, because normally my Throwback Thursday would go up tonight because that's the first Thursday of the month but this is the first video that's going up in this year so I instead of putting that up next week and sort of having a lot of like stash you know my own stash project pan shop my stash type of videos go up all in a row I thought that maybe I would just push that off into next month especially just starting a new project and I don't think that I did a great job with my throwback Thursday products from the last month just because of trying to finish up these products and everything else which is travel and everything I just thought that maybe I'd push that up for a month so let me know what you think if you are like no I really want throwback Thursday then let me know if not then I will just kind of hold off on that one and started that back up in February happy new year I just I'm very excited about 
things for my channel this year. I'm hoping to, you know, grow my channel more and to, you know, continue to improve. So please let me know down below if there are specific things that you would like to see from me in the coming year. I would love to hear your feedback because I'd love to make videos that you want to see and hopefully, you know, make my channel better and better in this coming year. Thank you for sticking with me. If you've been with me for, you know, a year or more, or if you just joined my channel, I, I thank you so much for being here and watching my video, just taking time out of your day to be here, whether it's just to watch, whether you comment, whether you like. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. And I really hope that you'll be here with me in 2019. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are proud of me for trying my first project pan and I'll continue to do more as I can hopefully get better at it also along the way. But thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.